Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons on K Wings Let's Plays. Yay! We are now in the month of April. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Animal Crossing arrives every day on this channel. Yay! So today we're going to be looking for the bunny to start the bunny event, which is going on now, as well as you can see there's different types of trees that are being uh, blossomed as well. Ooh. <gasps> Cherry tree is blossoming! I think so. Isabel. Good morning, everyone. Wait, no, I'm Fluffy. It's 11.36 a.m. on Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And don't forget, Bunny Day is just a few hops away. I guess that means we can expect a change in the weather. Why is it that as soon as we get used to one season, the next one is already upon us? I don't have any big news to share with you today, but I thought I'd waste your time by talking. I would like to touch on a seasonal topic, though. See any cherry blossom petals fluttering through the air this morning? They look magical! It's a shame that cherry blossom season is so short. But maybe that's what makes it so special. Another thing. Oh! <laughs> I sent all the DIY recipes app users the recipe for an outdoor picnic set. Oh, nice. Why not make yourself a nice lunch and go outside and hang out with friends? Oh, wait. And enjoy it under the beautiful trees, but make sure you stay six feet away. Practice social distancing. In <laughs> Animal Crossing, not possible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um. time to put our work clothes away. Uh, I just was thinking about a little clip that I saw. I mean, of course, I know that all Hollywood people are kind of trying to take our jobs on YouTube at this point, but... They're not doing a very good job, though. No, they pretty much are terrible at uh, trying to vlog, because without their big bands and their... Why don't they have regular cameras like every <laughs> other YouTuber? They're using, like, old, archaic because they don't know how to do it. But look at us, Luke. We're using our old archaic stuff too. Hey, that one webcam I have works really well. I just need some lighting. Um, you don't really have any spring All dresses. Right, let me get a, a string dress. Let me. But they'll have some really there. cool. That's a Korean like. Uh... So oh, I look springy. Okay. You look springy. I think I look springy. <laughs> oh no, that doesn't oh, work boy. at all. Yeah, that looks springy. You also have Chung Lee hair, too. Let's see if I have anything else more springy. Not yet, but spring. That's cute. That's a blue kimono. I kind of like, I kind of, I mean, I could wear my bunny dress. Your bunny dress? That one? But I don't have any, I don't have the, uh, the ears, ears for yet. it. Yeah, the ears will probably be easier to get this time of year. Probably. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just wear the bunny dress for now because it's bunny day. Well, All I right. mean, it's it's not bunny day but yet. But any, anyway. It's, it's bunny month, but... Bunny no, month. No bunny day yet. But, um, yeah, what I was going to say is Co Conan had this interesting video where he was... I forgot, he... There was some governor of some... There was some kind of politician guy that's famously 6'8". I don't know, finance department person. I don't know what his name was, but he had a cardboard cut out of him, and he was like, make sure you stay one of these guys away from you. He was like, but if you don't have a cardboard cut out of him... And then he had, like, three or four cardboard cutouts of Kevin Hart that nope. were, like, really short, and then he lined them up together. He's like, make sure you stay three Kevin Harts away from everyone. The bunny's here. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Sippity, 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 sippity. <laughs> oh my god. Now that you found me. Ah, the voice. I'll say warm hello. Creepy. I'm Lucky Old Bunny, Zippity Zipper. And this here's a little tip. You can call me Zipper. Oh no, he okay, rhymes. Okay, Zipper. You can clap now. No, really. Go on. <laughs> well, wow. I'm clapping. I'm clapping. Listen to Swell. Here you are, and here I am to tell you all about my favorite holiday. Christmas? I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a costume. And don't go snooping, got it? I'm gonna undo the zipper. Zippity zippity, enough of that. He has a zipper! It's a 
almost bunny day. Hop, 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 hooray. And it's my favorite time to come out and play. You sound creepy. Hmm, I've got some prep work to do. I hope you can keep yourself busy. Well, I have to. Mm, and guess what? This funny bunny has a bunny day secret just for you. Ready? Yippity skippity, here it is. The time has come. Let's look for eggs. That's my bunny plan. They're here, they're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Find them if you can. Did I make myself clear? Yes, no, maybe so. Hmm, how about this? There are six types of eggs hidden around the island, you see. So wonderful, you should go look for them. And then bring them back to wonderful old me. Why? Because I said so. These eggs aren't hidden inside buildings, no siree. My eggs can only be found in the great outdoors. Okay. Mm, check the trees, check the rocks, check the waters too. Search the skies, search the ground, and that's what you should do. And here's a little something I made just for you. What exactly is that? Thank you. That's a recipe for a bunny day bed. You can craft it with eggs, you find. Oh, he's becoming Gollum. Oh, well. Now, a big announcement. I sure hope you liked this. I've hidden bunny day thing do yourself recipes all over the island. The closer we get to bunny day, the more recipes I'll hide. If you find and craft all of them, I've hidden why you'll get a super duper dippery present from me. Zippity skippity happily hey! It's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful as bunny day! Oh, he has a zipper. Mm. I'm gonna say that's dumb, no. You sit on a throne of lies! Is there any way we can get behind him real quick? Oh, he's kind of cute. His voice is scary, but he's cute. <laughs> oh, look, Luke, you can shake the trees for the eggs. No, that one, the other tree that has eggs on it. Where? Right oh. There. Ooh, a leaf egg. Very nice. Oh, wait, why can't we have mm -hmm. these cherry blossom trees all year round? Because it's only in spring, sweetie. But wouldn't the cherry blossom trees only grow cherry blossoms? Why would they suddenly grow green leaves now? No, they, honey, those were the first eggs that we got. See? Leaf eggs. No, I'm saying, like, why would they turn cherry blossom and then turn green again on the other months? Mm. It doesn't make any sense. It's Animal Crossing. Try not to think too hard about it. What do you know? Bunny Day is April 12th. Okay. I promise to bounce right back on this island on that wonderful, wonderful day. In the meantime, Skipper, don't tell anyone you ran into old Zipper. It'll be a funny bunny surprise. Okay. But notice how his mouth doesn't move, so that's somebody wearing a suit. Don't forget to look for the Bunny Day recipes I've hidden around your island. I love hiding stuff, and I'll hide more recipes every day until it's bunny day. Yay! If you find and craft every bunny day recipe, I'll give you a super duper present. Okay. I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. I mean, we're going to try to find some eggs. I mean, he said they're in the rocks, they're in the trees, they're in the water. I want more cherry. I want cherry blossom trees all year round. Well, I mean, you're only going to get them in April Is and probably May. <laughs> Isn't there any way that I can dig up a cherry blossom tree, plant it in the middle of, like, summer, and keep it all year round? No, because these are just the regular trees. Like, I can show you. Let's. They can't magically grow cherry blossoms on trees that don't even aren't even cherry blossom trees. Let's watch. It, it's not going to say it's a cherry blossom tree. It's going to say it's a tree tree. But first thing you do is you eat some fruit. <gasps> no! I don't want you to dig it up! I'm going to dig it up so you can see what it's called, and then I'm going to replant it. Okay. Let's see, where's my shovel? It. Okay, there's my shovel. Then we just walk up to it, and poof. It's and it's going to tell you that it is a, a hardwood tree. See? So, it only blossoms like cherry trees in a cherry blossom in that the spring. That defies the laws of physics. It's not ever. It's Animal Crossing. <laughs> There is no physics! It's just a tree! Do you like my bunny dress? Your bunny dress is very cute. Should I put more into the hole? Okay. No, I guess because we didn't we didn't have that much on us, so. That way you'll get from a thousand, you'll get three thousand back on your investment. So Woot. Yeah. 
Now, eggs can be hidden in the ground. They can be in the rocks. How can they be hidden in the ground? They can be in the well, rocks? Speaking of a present. Now, we need to be very careful with the present, though, because if it lands on a tree, that means no present for you. How could I? Wouldn't I just shake the tree to get it down? Nope. That's an egg. Yep. There you go. So that was from the sky. Wow. Sky egg. I know. It's pretty clever, right? And uh, some things are also buried in the ground. Have you done... Um, uh, have you talked to the bunny in your town yet? Nope. I'm saving that for my live stream later today. Although, I hope the bunny will be around, like, in the evening. Oh, there goes the shovel. Nope. No, my flimsy shovel's gone. But you can see we just got some eggs from the sky, from the tree, and the rock. So, that's pretty good. There might actually be more um, eggs hidden in the rocks. So we're going to test those. And for the trees, what you want to look for is the eggs will be, like, uh, hanging like fruit. And then you just shake them. Cool. Now for the water, I have no idea. I um I just saw a really interesting video about Animal Crossing came up in my um basically recommended and it was a grandmother that um I don't know if anyone else has got put it in your recommended, but it was from a year ago and the grandmother had been playing Animal Crossing New Leaf for four years and she was showing her grandson her town. Mm. And in her house, and her house had tons of stuff she had collected for four years. And she was talking about all the different kinds of things she does in her house, and like it was very cute because, like, you wouldn't really think that that you know a grandma would really be into Animal Crossing, but she really liked it. Anybody can be into Animal Crossing. It's a very chill game. Yeah, she she played her town for four years. Oh, that's right. We don't she have. She just shovel. kept collecting stuff like every year, like every day. Nope. That's all you do. I mean, eventually you run out of storage, though, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? You have to yeah. do it your way, selling all your items and things like that. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Nook's Granny. Do you see anything you like? Seems like you're interested in a cardboard box. Sorry, Ruga. <laughs> no cardboard box. Oh, no new one, anyway. We should make, like, a whole, like, cat... You know how some people make, like, a cat fort down there with cardboard boxes? Mm. I think we could do that. Except for right now, I feel like... <gasps> oh! What? 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 The umbrella? Really? I like the polka dot yellow umbrella. Uh -huh. it looks happy. Egg parasol umbrella. Excellent purchase. Mm. I don't know if they said that. No, I, I was thinking I, that in I my really, mind. I hope not. Thank you. Thank you. And that's a nice little toaster. Toaster! Ooh, that's expensive. That's fine. Expensive toaster. Alright, so we need to find that money rock. And then we'll go uh, check out Thank the you. Abel Thank sisters you. today. Yes, if we are able to. <laughs> yeah. So apparently my, my bunny voice, or my creepy voice is starting to sound more like Jar Jar every day. It's creepy. Uh, it's no, it's adorable, but it, it yeah. I I picture like I think there are some like horror animals or something that sound like that. So hello. Ah! Oh, more eggs. There are more eggs there. Yeah, more eggs. See, so the eggs are going to be really easy to find. You're also going to get more of those um, presents that are going to fly by than normal. Wait, you can't make an iron shovel Honestly, yet. Honestly, though, oh. I feel like. Poop. A lot of the stuff in Animal Crossing, like harvesting, planting, collecting, mm. it just feels like a lot of hard work, to be honest. That's Animal Crossing. Yeah, but it gets tedious and, like, I get frustrated having to do the same things over and over again. Then maybe Animal Crossing isn't for you, Amber, because that's I, Animal Crossing. I do like changing my outfit every day, but I don't like working for the bells to buy new outfits. Yeah, that's all Animal Crossing. <sighs> I get so. frustrated easily. <sighs> and then, like, someday, like, I wish I could just spend the whole day just collecting money. And then after that, I'd have all the money I needed for the rest of the game. Because I don't like... It's so hard for me to continually do it. Animal Crossing hater! I'm not trying to hate it, I'm just saying my actual opinion on it. Nobody cares about your actual opinion. <laughs> It's Animal Crossing. People watch Animal Crossing because they like Animal Crossing. But why? My gosh, you're becoming like me when I did Disney Infinity. 
No, I love how the game looks. I just don't want to work to achieve it. All those things. It's so you want handouts. Yeah, I don't understand why Tom Nook can't just give me handouts. Because this game is supposed to teach you about, hard work. about the benefits of hard work and doing things with your own hands and all kinds of stuff, which you fail to grasp. It is kind of funny. Isn't uh, there some kind of get-rich-quick scheme I can do on this uh, game? Nope, Nintendo patched it. So you have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is earning it. Getting money rocks, selling earning stuff. Earning it! Earning it! Also, I give you tons of money anyway. Oh, there's a little beetle that came out of the rock. Yeah, we're not gonna catch that beetle. Alright, how are we doing for stones and... Okay, we need stones. Stones is how we build cool stuff. Iron ore is how we build cool stuff. I've you've not yet gotten a, a golden nugget at all yet, which is interesting. No, I had one golden nugget. I have it in my storage. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I put everything in my storage. <laughs> oh, eggs in the ground. Look at that. Excellent. An earth egg. Oh. Stop it for a piece of clay. Or wow, something. he's he's kind of creepy. Uh, let's um. Oranges. We can, we can put the oranges down. We'll get it later. Think. That's fine. No, I didn't want- I wanted to kick in the dirt. Huh? My pockets are full. Here, let's get a picture of the bunny. Now we can actually see him. Cute. So who is that in the bunny suit? They never tell you. It's the real Easter bunny. The bunny's like right next to the uh... Did I already go into my thing? Oh no, I said it- I said it in the chat before, but the reason why I find the Easter Bunny creepy is because, number one, look at that. Number two, um, you know, Santa, he comes down your chimney and he leaves the presents downstairs, under your tree, away from your room, in your living room, and then he goes, and then he's kind of a gentleman because he leaves you sleeping and he leaves the house. I mean, have you ever noticed the Easter Bunny walks into your room and creepily reaches over you while you're sleeping and puts stuff in the basket next to you. Oh my gosh, what is I'm just with saying, you today? I always thought about that when I was younger. I always thought, oh my gosh, like he was here, like right next to me while I was sleeping. Like it's just too close for comfort for me. Wow. You never thought about that when you were younger? Like, nope. He's right there. Like, he literally reached over you. He could have brushed you, like, your nose with his little paw. Nope, never worried about that, because I got chocolate. And also, my Easter baskets were always downstairs. The no, mine were always right by my bed. Oh, yeah. And usually my, my, see, my, uh, what do you call that, nightstand was on the other side of my bed than the door. So to get to my nightstand, you'd ha literally have to reach over me as I was sleeping. Like, if you were the Easter Bunny. Ah. That's not creepy at all. I thought it was... Creepy. Most people had their Easter baskets downstairs. I don't think so. Really? Yep. I always had mine right next to me. We would always have our Easter baskets next to us growing up, and then in the morning, the stuff would be in the basket. Another sky egg already? Oh, well. Th that's my thing I don't understand, like, um, when you go to the store and you see all these pre-made Easter baskets, like, they're like Spider-Man Easter basket, Hello Kitty Easter basket, and they're pre-done, so they already have the stuff in them and people can buy them. Here's my question, why would people need to buy those if the Easter Bunny is already gonna come and give you free stuff anyway? I just don't understand. Also, if you get the pre-filled basket, then the Easter Bunny is going to be sad. Like, how am I supposed to fill this? You already filled it. Mm. It's just... <sighs> Interesting. You're putting him out of a job. Uh. These are all things that I have pondered for many, many years. Wow. I have no words. What? I have no words. Amber has Easter Bunny trauma. <laughs> I don't have trauma, I'm just, I mean, yeah, I mean, no, you pretty have, creepy. You have trauma. Okay, we're gonna sell some fish. <laughs> well, I mean, I almost fit, picture the Easter Bunny kind of looking like, um, well, of course, they never show what he looks like, but I love Harvey, the movie, with the giant big rabbit. 
Um, from way back in the day. Amber yeah. used to get a lot of public library videos, so. I believe it's a black and white video. Yeah, it's, it's a great movie, you guys. From the 50s. It's fantastic. I love it. It's a great, it's a classic. Yeah, it's okay. Harvey in that movie is a puka, which is a type of fairy creature. Uh, he's a giant bunny. That's invisible. Oh, so that was a bunny day. Oh, wow. More bunny day stuff from the sky. Sweet. That movie was so popular that, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember the guy the, that starred in that movie. I believe he was in Five of Ghosts West. Um, he's like really famous. Jimmy Stewart, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Jimmy Stewart. Five of Ghosts West. Jimmy Stewart. Could name other movies that Jimmy Stewart was in. He was in some really famous movies. What else was Jimmy Stewart in? I don't even remember. Oh, a yeah. Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> it's like one of his defining movies. Yeah. So Jimmy Stewart was in um, Harvey, which I love. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. You've said that. And in this, apparently, even after Jimmy Stewart was done with that role, people, especially like people like he used to say, like people that were like, I don't know, he didn't mean to say this, but like. He didn't really know how to say this, but basically he said, basically in the movie, Jimmy Stewart and the rabbit, Harvey, they go to bars and talk to people about their problems and people that are like kind of sad and stuff. When they meet the invisible rabbit, they feel happier about themselves. All right. This is what the movie was about. Okay. Wow. Amber's just talking about all kinds all right, of taboo so subjects today. They were root beer. There was root beer served at those places. They were, uh, so, let's say they were soda fountain bars. Okay. So, <laughs> so basically he was saying that guys, um, basically he said that a lot of, like, let's say people that maybe, like, were maybe not all there would basically, like, talk to him years later whenever he would, you know, walk across the street and they would remember him in that movie and he would get asked all the time by all kinds of interesting characters how Harvey was doing, like in real life. Like there was actual people that thought Harvey was real. Okay. What? He would, apparently he used to get asked all the time. So let's see where the eggs are hidden in the water. Oh, that's a... Moving on. <laughs> yeah. And people are right about your Animal Crossing series. You get kind of... What? I don't know. This game just makes you weird. How does it make me weird, I don't though? Know. This is just my real personality, though. Your real personality is... I have no words. <laughs> Come on, let's try to find some eggs in the water. I thought... This was pretty much how I was when you first dated me. Mm. No, I was mostly quiet. Uh. I mean, you talked about interesting topics, but... I mean... Come on, fish! Also, why are we still getting sea bass when it's officially April now? They're supposed to give us different fish. And they still haven't. Let's say I have a lot of opinions about life that most people don't share with me. Let's just say that. Very few people share them. That See, I would have made that an egg. Found an olive flounder. I'm pretty sure we donated that last time. So how do we find these eggs from the sea? I mean, I guess you could be like the little clams in the water. That would be something. And supposedly when you get all these eggs, you're supposed to get something cool from it. But, uh, probably just, you need the eggs, like, materials to craft stuff. That's my guess. Yeah. Where is... They usually have those little clams in the ground. You can see water spitting out. That's my guess where an egg's gonna be hidden. Because we've done the sky, we've done the ground. We've done uh, the trees, we've done the rock, so we just need the water. Yeah. And there's only other couple things they could do. It could be a fish, or it could be like a little spurting thing in the ground. Oh yeah, it could be like a, um, you'd think it was a clam, but it'd actually be an egg. Mm-hmm, exactly. Oh, thought I heard something squirting. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wish that 
Like, if the Easter Bunny really was Harvey or, like, an invisible rabbit, I think I'd be more okay with that. Why are we back on Harvey? I'm just saying, like, I I think that seeing a six-foot-tall real rabbit with hands would really freak me out. That's not what the Easter Bunny looks like, though. That's what I always pictured the Easter Bunny, like, a morph between a human being and a bunny that's, like, some kind of freak of nature. Wow, you've got serious <laughs> issues. What do you mean? How does it have opposable thumbs to put all this stuff in the basket unless it has thumbs? Uh, how often do you go to therapy for <laughs> this kind of stuff? I cannot believe that more people haven't, like, thought through all this. I mean... Now I know why the Animal Crossing videos get marked as not safe for advertisers. It's you. I don't understand why it wouldn't be safe. I'm just trying to think of how a bunny that just has paws can leap over to your basket while you're sleeping and put... I mean, what it would break the eggs if it was trying to put, hold it between its paws. Haven't you ever seen, like, Peter Rabbit? The Easter Bunny is, like, the size of Peter Rabbit. The guy in the mall doesn't Wait, count. you're saying the Easter Bunny is small? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh! This whole time! How could it possibly... But how can it get to... It's tiny? It's a magic creature! What is it? <laughs> but how does it lift the... Doesn't it have a sack of, like, chocolate and stuff to bring to everyone's house? Like... How does it lift all the chocolate and stuff? Like, how does it... I mean, it has to carry all of the different candy and chocolate and jelly beans for everybody. Uh, I mean, it's a magic rabbit. You think he's really concerned about storage? Wait, I don't where's... know. I mean, magic can only take you so far. I mean, I don't know. Oh, boy. Wait, you're saying this whole time... Then why do they scare people in the mall by having a huge rabbit? Well, I mean, it's not like they can get midgets to play the Easter Bunny. It's kind of mean, you know. So small people. People that are height challenged. Oh my gosh. What? I I don't... I am height challenged myself. No, That's you're... I like, you're I like to be called a small person. Height challenged. Vertically challenged. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> What? You don't know how it is because you're Ooh, over six money. feet. Are you, are you seriously telling me? So you're saying they could not hire a vertically challenged person in the mall to play. See, this would be your scary rabbit. The guy that hangs out over by the grave. That guy's scary. Jumping me. up and down. Yeah, that he is hanging by the grave. But it, it's a dude in a suit. I don't know what animal is in the suit. I'm going to say Tom Nook. In fact, I if I Tom if I go anywhere. in the door and Tom Nook is think, gone, oh my gosh! <laughs> or if I come back and the bunny is gone, oh my gosh! Then Luke. we know it's not Tom Nook. Okay, oh, let's see. He's there. Let's see. Is the bunny gone? Is the bunny still outside? That's what we need to see. Hey, hippity hoppity, are you still doing your crazy thing? Hippity hoppity, who? Yeah, he's right there. So it's oh, not. It's I don't not. know who it is. It's the it's the real Easter Bunny. Then why does he have a zipper on his back? It's just supposed to be a joke. It doesn't have to make sense. I mean, there's somebody in the suit. His mouth doesn't move when he talks. So, I mean, it's something. All right, so we're going to try this side of the beach for the water eggs, because I'm running out of ideas for the water <gasps> eggs. Oh, my gosh. Never mind. Maybe this is it. Why do I have this stupid sea bass again? I don't know. It's super lame. I'm sorry if we're talking about all that stuff. It's just... Oh. It it really bothered me when I was... Oh, a right Quetzalcoatl. No, you already have that. That's, mm, just bury that again. I already have that. It's lame. The other only thing that bothered me about the Easter Bunny is this. Like, Santa Claus, it makes sense because of Saint Nick and related to Christmas and all this. And the, all the legends with that. So it makes sense where Santa Claus came from, etc. But... Easter Bunny is just out of nowhere. It's just like this magical creature that just... I don't know. I don't know what his You just said is. it. He's a magic creature. He doesn't need a reason. Okay. Alright, so you got a cardboard bed. Ruga! Cardboard bed for Ruga! Oh my gosh. It's so weird. So terrible. Where in the world are the water eggs? 
This so, makes no sense. Luke, what is your favorite thing that you've ever gotten for Easter, or what do you like about Easter? You like painting eggs, or...? I did like painting the eggs. It was fun. Did you ever get a really cool... Did you get cool stuff in your Easter basket growing up? Sometimes I got video games, or I got comic the books. Video games! Yeah. <sighs> Chocolate. Wow, the Easter Bunny must have really liked you. I mean, most people got presents in their Easter baskets. What? I just got candy. Oh. Oh my gosh. There were only a couple times a year that I got presents. It was Christmas, my birthday, Easter, and... Um... I think that was it. Yeah. Wow. I got presents on my birthday, but only depending on if... Like, my family could afford me to get a present that year. Why is there no eggs in the water? I don't understand this. But Why I, are you saying eggs in the water? But Santa, he always got me presents, so... Yeah. He always had my back. But the Easter Bunny always just gave me... But chocolate. it wasn't it wasn't just any video game. Like, usually it'd be a small stuff that fit in an Easter. So, like, Game Boy game would be in an Easter basket. Or, like, Game Boy Advance or something like that. But by the time I was, like... Easter... We stopped doing Easter with the... Easter baskets when I was about 17. See, there or you go. Or 16. If you probably put an Easter basket out this year, the Easter Bunny might actually come by and give you something. But, see, it was you that lost faith in the Easter Bunny, so... No, it just... We stopped doing it as a family. We just did regular Easter, like, had, like, Passover meal or something. I don't know. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that's... That's always good. We, we celebrated Passover more than Easter by the time I was growing up. Growing up. And I, I kind of like that better. But, I mean, I can still understand the appeal of, um, you know, the Easter Bunny and stuff. And, uh... And Somewhere the I Easter did, Bunny is crying now. I did one scavenger hunt... Once, once or twice, when I was little, I used to do scavenger hunts all the time. But it wasn't. Mm, I was too adventurous looking for eggs. Oh my gosh, you probably found a lot of other weird stuff. Well, for some reason, I thought because my dad said I'd never find the Easter egg. Like one year when we were doing a thing in Berlin, and I thought that meant that he put it in the neighbor's yard that had the oh pit bull. Oh my gosh! So I climbed oh over gosh. the fence. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh, I'm amazed wow. I didn't get bit. I have no idea where this egg in the water is. Oh. Nope. I got it's a just, clam. It's just clams. But I can't carry anything else. It's just clams. So we found the sky eggs. We found a bunch of fossils. So let's give them oh. some fossils. When I, when I go believing in... Uh, Theory creatures, etc. I go hardcore all the way. I have to figure out everything. What does the Easter Bunny like to eat? What time of night is he out? What is his motivation? You probably think Cupid is like a middle-aged man that comes in your house and hits you with arrows. And it's a little baby. Like, you have a lot of scary, like, giant creatures coming after you. Or, like, man-sized creatures. It's kind of funny. They're man-sized in the stores! That's the mall people! That's what I thought they were trying to say the Easter Bunny looked like! No, they had books about the size of the Easter Bunny. My gosh! See, counseling I never, woman. I never read one of those books. Mm. Look, I had literally gone to the mall, and I, I talked to somebody in a suit that I thought was the Easter Bunny before. They asked me what I wanted for Easter or something. Yeah, this is just mall... mall uh, How was I supposed characters. to know, though? I don't know. It's just kind of funny. Patchy skull. So the rest of the bones that you just got, because you're super lazy, we're going to sell them for money. Because... I never said I was lazy. I just said I want all the money and I want handouts, but I don't want to work at all. Yeah. The, the, you don't get handouts in Animal Crossing. Although, technically, you do. Animal Crossing is the easiest game to, like, you don't have to worry about rent. You pay your money when you can. It has, yeah. like, the most forgiving landlord and even the bridge people. People building that bridge, they're not knocking on your door every day saying, where's my money? Are you talking about the trolls that live under the bridge? No! Oh. My gosh, woman. No, no, no. I'm talking about the dude who's like right by your... Wait, you said the bridge people, so... This is a bridge person! Look at him! Oh. See the bridge guy? This guy. <laughs> He's taking donations for the stone bridge. We have 10,000, so nobody has done anything. The second L is silent, I guess. 
See, he's not gonna shake you up for money. Like that's that's not how he rolls. Oh, I forgot what those things are called. Huh? They have a name. I thought the Lloyd. Were... No, they're like called. I was gonna say gyroscope, but no, no they're some Lloyd. Some kind of like. Oh hey, Emby, you just came at the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Sure. What's up, Sonic? Okay, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Oh, thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on the island who can't wait for me to come here up peddling my wares. So I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on the island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook, and he was scary. And then we had a conversation. He was like. We have some materials left over from the building Nook's crediting. Oh, that must be done. That is just <laughs> an appropriate location. Yes. Oh, oh, and the perfect individual to help you find the location would be Ampy. <laughs> yes. So, I figured I'd keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again, and that's now! Oh, jeez, I've been rambling on for like an hour, haven't I? Sorry! Anyway, my sister and I would feel better about the shop with the help of Tom Nook. Speaking of Tom Nook, have you seen the weather out today? So, how about it, Amy? Can you be our location scout? How much are you gonna pay me? Seriously? Oh, you're totally a lifesaver, not the candy. All right, tell you what, I will give this Taylor's construction kit to you. Just because. I hear a present. Just set it up wherever spawn makes sense to you, and goodbye. Oh, did you want to talk about the butterflies in the area? Fine. No, I hear, I hear, a, that's the noise a present makes oh, when it's oh. flying around. Is that the TARDIS? No. All right, so where do you want your store? You want it right next to this thing? I feel like there's water right there. <sighs> what? We can put it... No, oh, no, no, no! I want it over where you said. There! That area. We'll get rid of that thing of flowers and that tree. I mean, we can just move the tree. No, I just need to eat some... Ooh, eggs. Tree eggs! I like that I'm not getting stung. Also, uh, never mind. Mm. Nothing. Forget it. Let's swap it out. There's another weird uh, thing that I heard about the Easter Bunny, which I guess... I not. would stop. I'm seriously wondering. <laughs> I actually had a conversation with YouTube today. Like, why are my Animal Crossing videos being, like, limited Fine. or no ads? I'll just, I'll just sit here and say the grass looks nice. Amber's taboo. That's what's going on. Amber's being bad. How am I being bad? I don't know. You're like R-rated or something. How am I R-rated? These are things that always bothered me when I was younger. And I'm just trying to figure them out now. Go speak to a counselor on FaceTime. <laughs> That's probably how they're seeing their the, patients right now anyway. I have spoken to counselors in the past and they just stare at me like they don't understand what's going on in my mind. Pretty sure you have a sea bass. And I'm pretty sure you donate an olive flounder. But I'm not sure. All right, I have a question. Am I allowed to ask it or no? Depends what it is. Fine. <sighs> Come again. I know this question is weird. All your questions are weird. <clears throat> but my theory about now, whenever you get like eggs from the Easter Bunny, they're like colored eggs, which obviously no known bird could actually lay. Just saying. <sighs> so. I just have this weird question, because the Easter Bunny is a magical creature. I always thought that he eggs. And this is just obvious to me, but apparently my thoughts aren't normal. Um, That's for sure. I always assumed that the Easter Bunny, because he was magical, laid the eggs. That were colored. I mean, there's been... Yeah, that's where we're going to put the shop. So, I managed to save the trees. There you Thank go. Thank you. That's actually a nice <laughs> spot beautiful. right by the water. So, that's where the Able Sisters are going to be. Yatta! Yeah! This is where the tailor shop should be. But I feel like that's going to make 
the traffic, like the the um, the highway that's near my house, it's gonna make it jam packed with traffic with people trying to get off the off ramp going to the Able Sisters house. There's there's gonna be no highway ever. They're How li- are people gonna get to the? They shop? walk everywhere. Oh. Oh, look at the little bird doing his stretches. So cute. Yep. Okay, creepy bunny. Could you, like, maybe move? You're, like, hanging out, like, right by that grave. <laughs> Just... I told you the Easter Bunny's creepy. Oh, no. No complaints. No, I I don't, you know. So I learned something new today. That could have changed my whole life if I would have learned that when I was younger. You could have seen books in the stores that showed what the size of the Easter Bunny is. At the most, he would be, like, maybe a Bengal cat. Oh, we don't have anything on our person. What all right, good. We're going to sell all our fish. is the Easter Bunny's fur? White. Or Are yellow. Are you sure it's not, like... I thought it... I always thought it was a nice, happy, sandy brown. Mm. I, I don't... White... No, the white, white, white bunnies are like the white rabbit. It's too freaky. How I are like, white bunnies freaky? They're, I don't like them. Oh my gosh, what do it's you too like? It's weird. I like, I like a brown rabbit. It makes me feel more safe. It looks like more like a real animal. I'm I sorry. don't. I wouldn't want like an anamorph thing. I mean, it, never mind. I feel like I feel like a white uh, rabbit is kind of like a, you know. It just feels like the rabbit hasn't gotten very much sun to me. It's just... I don't know. It's too weird for me. I just want my rabbit to have some color on it. Just want your rabbit to have some color. Or I always thought the rabbit was like purple or like pink or yellow. I mean, that's just merchandising stuff. What? Well, I mean, I people are really sending out a lot of mis- mixed messages that is scarring a lot of people for life out there. I think that they really need to do some research on this and have some, like, you know, trusted scientists give the public some real information. Because I feel like the information about the Easter Bunny out there is, frankly, I feel like it's misleading. And I'm upset about that. Wow. I mean, there needs to be a website with some actual scientific research done so that when I have kids someday I can actually let them know like here's the real here's the evidence that we have and the actual scientific knowledge we have about the Easter Bunny so that they can have more of an informed version viewpoint of him okay all right thanks Mabel so we did a bunch of stuff today I still have not found any sky or water eggs, so maybe you guys Sorry. can help out with that in the comment section below. But All right, tomorrow's episode will be normal. Ah, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you with more of our Easter bunny hunt all this month. Uh, because episodes will be, you know, happening... Because episodes will be going on, like, with the Easter egg hunt for Yay. pretty much the whole month, almost, because... You know, we record episodes a lot. But uh, we'll see you guys later, and uh, check out another cool stream on K-Wings Let's Plays later today. Bye-bye!